got anything thing. we can put under it? Any sticks or stones? <laughs> What's up guys? So, me and my cousin Zach are here working on our gambler van. Um, we got one week, you know us, the procrastinating crew. We got one week until the gambler and we've got a major oil leak in the van. So we're gonna try to get that polished up today and hopefully it's good plate on it and some of our government provided skid plates but even if we don't get any of it fixed we're still going to have it at the gambler with the brick on the pedal so yeah for that six thousand rp <laughs> for two hours we probably <laughs> need a little, little bit of extra juicy juice in there Let's see if she's leaking I think they're good. Okay, I do see another drip on it. Drip's not a big deal. Oh, no, I agree, I agree. It's just like throwing it out. That's yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot less. For sure. Yeah. It's gonna take it for a while to settle. Yes. Yeah, we're half. We're half. That's where we need to be right there. Because the dipstick's not going all the way around. That's great. Well, after um, lots of uh, walking around and scratching our heads, we tightened up the the oil pan bolt. It stopped leaking a little bit. We didn't actually seal anything off. We didn't put any skip plates on, but um, I'm going to put something under the oil pan to see how bad it is actually leaking. Uh, we're not really sure how bad it is. Um, so this day, we didn't get much done, but we definitely got a game plan for the gambler so if we don't get anything else done on it we're gonna full full scene friday and saturday so stay tuned all right just got the old girl pressure washed for the first time since the gambler what is it we are uh one, two, three, four sleeps away till the gambler. Look at that. That wasn't there before. No window. Yep, got her good and pressure washed. And you know, I'm thinking about spray painting it. Thinking about spray painting the whole thing in true gambler fashion. I haven't really decided yet. Radiator's not on it, radiator's inside. But to be honest, I haven't really decided yet if I'm going to, oh yeah. Let me show you guys the inside of this thing. It is rough. So like I said, I need to take the hood out of there. I have not decided if I'm gonna spray paint the whole thing or not. I don't know if I wanna spray paint it like red, yellow, and orange Toyota style. Radiator in the front seat, dead animal, some random homeless guys, beer cans, the hood. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she was good to us. I really let her down. So yeah, full of mud. I mean, look at that. That is nuts. It's like one o'clock in the morning and I'm here at the car wash in Birdstown, Tennessee. And there is no one around. The Shell Station, just Tennessee Tyler and the old Gam Van. So yeah, I got her sprayed off. I should have actually uh, sprayed off the inside here hindsight if I had any more coins no good coins in there so yeah got her cleaned off we got the uh, the oil leak as good as it's gonna get I would have liked to have welded it up and skid plated it and all that good stuff but uh, in the true fashion of our gambler team or whatever you want to call it we are procrastinators indeed like it's literally a few days away and 
we've done nothing. I mean, the thing's been, this van's been sitting in the field for months, months, months. So anyways, I'm going to stop rambling on, get this thing home, get to bed, because tomorrow is Wednesday, and then there's Thursday, and then we're heading out Friday, so actually less than four sleeps, like two sleeps. Um, so anyways, yeah, we'll see you meatheads there. What's up guys? So today I am doing a little bit of gambler prep. Today is Thursday. The gambler starts tomorrow. Um, I just unhooked the truck so I didn't get paint on it and I'm going to paint this bad boy. Yeah, yeah. And I'm very excited about the scheme that I've come up with. After very little deliberation, the answer was obvious as to what paint job this van needed. I do believe it needs a paint job. Um, very recognizable as is but you are going to love my choice of paint jobs i think you will anyways so i know i'm going to love it if it turns out the way i hope it does um so anyways uh stay tuned because this is a uh, gambler van prep day three you guys are gonna have to stay tuned to see what elaborate scheme that i have come up with because i am very excited very excited I think it's gonna be very cool. I was kind of hesitant about painting it at first, but I've decided that painting it is definitely the way to go. In true gambler fashion, it must be spray painted. It's just the way of the gambler, I suppose. The unspoken rule, the unwritten message. Here we go. Well, this spray paint is not gonna work. Not at all. So, I'm gonna load the kids up and go get some better spray paint. It was only a dollar can from the dollar store, but um, no, not gonna work. Not gonna work for what I need. Okay, so, upgraded my paint game here. I uh, had some super cheap, like dollar a can, dollar thirty a can spray paint up to buy about three or four dollars a can with your basic rust-oleum and i got one of these cool trigger things because i guess if you're gonna paint a whole van you should probably spend more than seven dollars so here we go let's see how it works need it for so let's go see if we can find something a little bit better Side number one is done. Look at that. It's look at that. That's that high gloss. You can see, I can see myself in it, baby. See that? Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah, that looks good. It's blue skies. Look at that. That's a professional paint job, baby. All right, let's go for the other side now. Here's the before. Let's see what we can do after.
upgrades are done. Gotta do this little back spot here. I think I got enough. Look at there, boy. Don't guess I need to worry about doing the hood, do I? Uh-huh. So she is painted, full body paint, baby. Solid gloss black. But yeah, she's nice and dry now. Look at that hair, boys. Looks like it came off the factory showroom floor. I'm not sure if anybody can tell what scheme I'm going for yet, but um, it's very classic. It's very gambler-esque. It's a very classic theme, so <clears throat> I think that it will be enjoyed by many. I know I'll definitely enjoy it for ages to come, even as it sits and rots away in my field. Um, but, uh, anyway, so yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get around to it tonight. I'm working on it currently as we speak, but I don't know if I'm going to get around to it tonight, but yeah, I've got a few more finishing touches on it to really make it pop. So right now it's just a black van, but when it gets done, it's going to be one of the most iconic racing vehicles in history. Speaking of vans. There's my next gambler pulling in. What's up guys? So today is Friday, the day that we will be leaving out for the Gambler 500. As soon as my wife gets off work at around 1, 1.30, I will be heading out. I'm loaded up, ready to go. Still like a few things on the van. First things first, I gotta get a shout out to all my sponsors. Um, going out now to put my sponsor stickers on the van because I couldn't make this video happen, couldn't make this gambler happen without all of you sponsors out there. So big thanks. I'm gonna uh, Got a full bag full of uh, stickers here. I'm gonna put them on. And and, uh, and then for the final sticker to complete the full look. Okay, time to put the finishing touches on the game van. The last final touch. Got some decals here. And we're pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. They're gonna be perfect. <laughs> Don't make your thighs tingle. I don't know what will. What? Oh, I'm sweating. Oh boy. <whistles> Look at there, boys. Ye stinking haul. And now for the final sticker, uh, we're going to put on some Tennessee Tyler decals for, um, you know, so I can get some recognition for this work of art I've got here. So hopefully I won't get her, hopefully I won't get any scratches on her this weekend. It's just going to be pretty much a car show. There's not going to be anything really going on. I doubt I'll get any mud or anything on it. But anyways. Okay, there it is. You see him. So, it's up to you now, ball's in your court. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video for the Gambler prep. I don't really have anything else I'm gonna do to the van. I'm gonna do a few things when I get there. I'm gonna have some certified mechanics on hand. I've got a lot of fanboys that'll do most of my work, so I just save it until we get to the event. <clears throat> so, uh, anyways, yeah, uh, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Let's do a full walk around. Not you, Rachel. The man. Look at there. Uh-huh. Yep. And then I got my gambler stickers here. Yeah. I think we all know where that one came from. On that one. Yep, looking good. Sponsors, huge thanks to all my sponsors. Couldn't make any of this happen without you guys. What's so funny? Um, yeah, really. The only sponsor I need. So yeah, there it is, baby. Doing it for Dale this weekend, boys. 
Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you watch my next gambler video. Make sure you watch my gambler video that's already up. It could be month. It could be next gambler before I have this video posted. Who knows? We'll see. But anyways, uh, just make sure you guys are just watching and liking and subscribing and all that good stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching. What's up, guys? So I made it. I'm finally here, pulling into registration as we speak. That's right, the infamous gambler dumpster. Second in line for registration. This place is packed already. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome weekend. I'm fixing to play a I've already registered prank on these guys because you can't pre-register this year, but I'm gonna tell them I did. <laughs>